What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm about to go do some thrifting. I gotta drop off a lot of packages here. You can see, um, well here's two of them. I got I think five more boxes downstairs. They're all about 50 pounds. 50 pounds is the limit you can send into FBA. So um, they're about anywhere from 30 to 45 pounds. Um, I think there was one that's 48. I try not to get them that high just in case, you know, it goes over my scales messing up or something weird. But we're going to get this stuff out. I got to take these two boxes downstairs and I'm already tired for the day. Uh, sucks working upstairs. But carrying all this downstairs is just not practical. I'm going to have to, uh, I've been looking for the last couple years trying to find a good house because I have my office upstairs. Um, I've been in this house forever and uh, I'm looking for a night. There's one right now for sale. It's got a big barn. Uh, but the house kind of sucks, but man, just thinking about having a barn and all this stuff, have everything level with me, is really making me want to um, just jump on it. But I'm trying to hold out for exactly what I need because I don't want to have to move again. And the market's just um, really bad to try to find good houses right now. Like, this is really bright. I got this bulb at a Walmart. I was going to sell it, but I think I'm just going to keep it. It's a smart bulb. Um, I, got, I think I got like five of these. I might just put them around the house. Okay, Google, change smart bulb color to purple. Sure, changing mm. smart bulb to purple. See, that's nice. Nice, relaxing lights. But yeah, we're going to get this day started. We're going to go out. We're going to make some money. I got my eight hour thrifting survival pack here. We got water. Of course, we got the V8 Black Cherry Energy Drink. Got some grapes and a fiber bar. So <laughs> that's going to last me for eight hours. First pickup of the morning, the Sony CD player. Um, I don't think it's a clock. Nope. Three ninety nine. dollars uh, I got this at a Goodwill. And it'll sell on Amazon for about $54.99. So definitely um, we'll make some money on that unit. Then in Salvation Army, I got this. Uh, what is it? Home Edics Massager. Uh, this is one of the good ones. I've been selling uh, some of the lower end ones. They still sell great, like around 35 bucks. This one will probably sell for about 50 to $60. It has all the attachments. It's a heated one. It's a newer model. Wasn't a price on this. So I asked the lady at Salvation Army. I said, so does that have a price? How much? And she said, $2.99. So I, I happily accepted it. I love when they actually price stuff rather than saying, hey, um, we're going to put this in the back, come back tomorrow, and it'll be priced. Um, the thrift stores that do that absolutely annoy me. Um, it's just ridiculous when they do that, I think. But we're going to keep going. We're going to keep making that money. I am in St. Francis looking at the electronics here. You can see $19.99 for the Magnavox. I love picking these up. They sell great. No remote, no returns here. So um, I'm not paying $20. Um, a lot of times they don't work, especially the VCR side. So I will not be doing that, St. Francis. Uh, they have allowed me to return stuff before if I talked to the manager prior to buying it. However, I have not seen that guy in a while. Of course, I haven't been coming here very often at all. Prices are too high and it's pretty far away anyway. But you can see here just some of the prices. Uh, it's kind of insane. Or you can't really tell too well because of the glare on the price tags. But $15 for VCRs. Um, you got some of these other units here like $60. Uh, turntable I think was like $40. And uh, $199 for that unit. And um, Sansui, I guess it was there. Um, maybe worth that. I don't know. But definitely not in a thrift store for me anyway. And especially not to resell. Um, but I believe those have been sitting there at least for a few months. Because I remember them last time I was here. Um, looking through the smaller electronics. Uh, i got to do some digging. Um not seeing a whole, I see stuff that I've seen for probably over a year. It's pretty crazy. Uh, looking at the remote here, remotes can do well, not that one. But I just spot this at the corner of my eye. I almost missed it. It's TV Guardian. Those things are great sellers. Uh, you make a lot of money on it. There's a Sony Walkman, and I'll go over all this stuff here in a bit. What I got, how much I paid, and what I expect to make. Uh, looking at the cables, seeing if there's any good cables, cameras. It can be a $200 camera. You never know when you're digging through these. And that's why it's kind of a hunt, why it's so exciting for me. Um, sometimes you, you can look through 100 of these bins and not find anything. But when you do find that one item that's, that's kind of a holy grail um, camera or 
something that you can flip for a lot of money and you're paying next to nothing. It's a great feeling and it becomes very addicting. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking around for anything else I might have missed. There's like, what is that down there? A TiVo or something? Uh, router. Uh, I don't think it was a very good router. I didn't even look that one up. There's a stick. I'm not even sure what that is. I've seen them before. I remember out in the wild. I've looked them up. Now this Wii thing, 20 Wii, 2,000 Wii points, which I think equals $20. I looked it up. I could not find any comps, and I think they closed the Wii store anyway, so I just decided to leave it. So let me show you what I picked up in St. Francis. Pretty good. Uh, I got a TV Guardian. Uh, it's been about a year and a half since I found one of these. Kind of one of my things I showed in my video. People you should look out for because these do sell well. Got some shadows in here. Apologize for that. But uh, yeah, I sold this for $69.99 on Amazon. Has the power supply and everything. Paid $2.99 for it. So that was just in a bin. I uh, picked up this Real Flight RC Simulator. I don't even know what exactly is going on here. It looks like you hook it up to your PC. But it also looks like there's comes with a plane or a helicopter or something. I don't really know what's going on. Couldn't find... Well, I did find this exact one. Uh, this set was like $45. But I've seen some of the remotes selling for like $40. Like the USB 24. So it might be something I part out. So I am going to have to look through I did not open it or go through it. That was probably dumb. But it was only $1.99. You can see somewhere they were trying to sell it for $225.95. It is kind of outdated. It's like Windows 98 or something. So um, it's not going to hold that value, obviously. But I, I bet some people will still want it. And for $1.99, it's worth a shot. It has been a while since I've seen loose remotes in a Goodwill. It's just something I don't see around here. They had them individually priced at $2.99, so I was pretty excited about that. And I did end up looking through them. I could not find any profitable ones. They were, oh, uh, like $10 remotes at best, and they had bad ranks. There is a pretty good phone set. I sat that down. I should have just held on to it because I was pretty sure I was buying that. But I was trying to get footage. <laughs> um, so uh, that can come back and bite you sometimes. I, like I find something, I want to keep recording before I turn it off. And someone else can come pick it up. It actually happened before. It's kind of a bad habit. But uh, here's a VTech pre-computer. $4.99. Look that up. Not really worth selling. I, I seen them sell for under $10. Max like $12, $15. Sony Cybershot. Uh, I wanted $5 for this. Uh, I don't even remember if I looked that up. Honestly, I may have set it back down and forgot. There's an Xbox. I assumed it was priced too high. Looking for the price. Find it. $49.99. I'm not going to buy that. Not really worth the resell. I could have bought these and maybe made some money. There are two, re two Wii remotes and two nunchucks for $9.99. But um, they weren't the motion, the motion Plus ones, so I just decided to leave them. Two Wii Fit boards too, but they went down in value. Out of that Goodwill, picked up a couple of these Serene phones. Uh, these are pretty good for... Um, they're amplified cordless phones. They're good for people hard of hearing. That's why they sell pretty well. Uh, these, uh, I think I'll do pretty well if they're actually in there and everything. They, of course, they put tape all the way around. Since I can return them, I'll go ahead and just buy them on confidence that they're going to be okay. <laughs> if, if they're bad, I'll just return them. But used, I think this one was like 50 bucks. And one of these sold new for, I think it was 180 which I find crazy. Uh, I didn't see any used sales, so I really don't know exactly what I'll get. I paid six ninety nine, seven ninety nine. dollars um, I hope to make at least $100 on these two handsets in the end. I actually didn't even check Amazon, but I probably would just sell them on eBay. Just on the safe I, I could I'd probably sell them used on Amazon, so I might get more. Probably at least 100 bucks profit in the end. Take a look at these disgusting shoes. I don't know if that's blood or what, but they're like why do they even put those out? Uh, it looks like, kind of like tobacco or something. Just absolutely disgusting. I've managed to find something else. Telestation's board game. $2.99 sealed, new, perfect condition. I'll send it to Amazon. Make about 15 bucks at the price right now. Prices do go up around Christmas time. Good rank, like 503 in toys, I believe it was. So, yeah quick 15 bucks so i just got out of that goodwill and i struck it rich um <laughs> probably not but um some gucci made in italy shoes gucci um definitely not familiar with it i don't see it i'm pretty sure these have got to be fake um though they are really well made for being fakes 
Uh, there's a little scuff there that should come off, but I decided to buy them. They're only $4.99. I'm like, you know what, on the off chance that they are real, I'll have to do some research. And still, somebody would pay probably $20, $30 for these at least, I would imagine. I don't know fake stuff. I would never sell these on eBay, by the way. Um, I might try Macari, though. Um, something like that that I don't really care about too much. I don't really sell a Macari. But, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some more research. I actually couldn't find these on eBay. They have the number there. And uh, I did a quick, like, Google search, and I seen that, like, there was a pair for, like, $2,700. Uh, retail so <laughs> um, we'll have to, I'll have to get back to you at the end of the video after I do a lot of research on these I'll, I'll let you know if you got any um, comments let me know I might not be able to actually determine it just looks like some of the stitching would be cheaper they do have like little nails or tacks in there and I don't know I really don't know they feel nice I mean they look nice but they're probably a knockoff I also got the Star Wars Aftermath Empire's End um, audio book for $7.99. And I picked these up because Amazon is out of them, new and used. So I'll probably put this on there used for about $30. Bucks. You can see $50 is what it was new to begin with. I opened it up, all the CDs are there. And disc 1 and 2 looked mint, so I assume the others are as well. Um, of course, I'll do more research on that at home rather than go through them all like that in goodwill uh the first two discs are in good condition and chances are the rest of them are I had to pay up though eight dollars for a used audiobook lord used to be like 2.99 for these at goodwill still though i can make some money on that fba and of course the gucci shoes i'm retiring on <laughs> but we're gonna go i got two more goodwills to hit in this goodwill i thought i came across something great for me it's a marmont jacket exactly the style i've been looking for my size i tried it on it fit perfectly i was looking it over and then i seen the back <laughs> uh just ravaged so i was kind of disappointed like man uh, of course i found a marmot jacket last year last season and it was too small for me and then i come across this one and uh it has you can see the ink stains on it so double whammy it probably wouldn't have been there anyway if it was in good condition it's probably been there for a while but i miss out on stuff sometimes for me so I am back home. Let me show you what I got in the last the Goodwill here. All this stuff, I believe you've seen already in the car. So I uh, picked up this. Anyone know what this is? I spotted it right away. Um, I used to have one when I was a kid. This is a He-Man uh, battle carrier. You stick all the figures like in these plastic holders like at their waist and you can carry your figures around. Uh... I've seen these a few times out in the wild. This is the first one I've bought because usually they're in terrible shape. These pieces right here get broken. They're yellowed. Uh, they're dirty. They're cracked because this is really cheap plastic. So uh, in this condition, I went ahead and picked it up. It was only $1.99. They had it, the orange tag here, which means it's Halloween. So uh, you can't return it. Um, it's weird how they do that. They just like, oh, these shoes look Halloween-y. So we put an orange tag on them. And this looks like... It's Halloween. We'll put an orange tag on it. Still $1.99. It's not worth a whole lot. You can sell these for about $25 bucks, uh, plus shipping. So I do have about, I have a tote full of He-Man figures. I got a Goodwill. It's been like two years now, maybe going on three years. And it's about $200, $300 profit worth of He-Man figures I just haven't dealt with. So I had to buy it. I'll probably just throw this in the tote with them. One day I'll do something with them. Um, yeah, it's kind of, kind of my life right now with a lot of this stuff. I have been listing a lot more on eBay. Of course, if you don't know, I sell mostly on Amazon. So eBay gets backed up really quick because I'm always finding stuff. But I found some board games. It's kind of strange. Uh, the, this Warhammer Conquest game, found one over in the toys. I popped up in the box and all, everything's still sealed slash not punk. The cardboard pieces are not, um, punctured out um how i want to say that punctured out they're not been punctured they've been punctured doesn't sound right um but <laughs> you don't watch you don't watch this uh channel for my speaking abilities that's for sure let me see if i can open this one hey you see it's still wrapped in the plastic they haven't been punched out yet so um 
I was like, yeah, I'll buy this. These sell for about, well, used. It's complete. They're selling for $50. Um, I'm not even sure if I've seen a new one, so I don't know what I'll get for this. I don't even know if it's considered new. I guess you could sell it as a new open box. Um, I, I imagine they had plastic around them. I'm kind of rambling here like usual. But what happened was I picked this up. And I was walking around and over on an end cap in another part of the Goodwill. I seen another one. I'm like, what? I opened this one. All the pieces, this has been played. All the pieces are well taken care of in baggies and stuff. So I'm ready to sell this one for 50 This one for, I don't know, I might 75 100 I'll try to get for it. So pretty good pickup there. And then there is this card game. This one was $2.99, and I don't know if this was originally wrapped in plastic, but you see these cards here are still sealed. And this is all the cards that come in it, so it was only supposed to be, I think, 30 or 40 And um, it sells on Amazon for $25 new, but it's, it's restricted. So I'll probably just sell this on eBay, try to get $20, $25 for it. I don't know exactly how much I'll get, but I picked them up. And then this game... Kind of surprising they must have quit making this it must be out of print because i thought racco was still being made this is from 92 and it looks like on amazon i'll be able to sell this version for um about 45 bucks so only paid a dollar 99 for it it's in great condition for being that old so that'll be a good flip sell board games like that all the time on amazon for premium prices especially out of print ones but, um, yeah, that's, that's the rest of the stuff I got. So, if you're wondering, I did spend about 20 minutes researching these Gucci shoes. And I've come to the conclusion that they are fake. Now, it's possible I'm wrong. Because these could just be so much older that a lot of these things I'm looking at doesn't matter. Like, this stamp looks correct. Um, it's kind of suspicious that it says 9.5 instead of like the European size, since these are made in Italy. Um, so I don't know if that matters. And please leave in the comments your opinions on this. You see the stitching here? Like there's a little fray there, and everyone's saying that they will, the stitching's going to be perfect on Gucci because they, they do really well quality. To me, though, the stitching looks still pretty good. Um, I can't tell if it's been hand sewn because it's they're supposed to be hand sewn or a machine i don't know what hand sewn and machine stitching look like i'm no expert but uh in here i would think that these this right here would be hand stitched but it is back there if you can see in there and it is stamped in there and also one of the big indicators is people were saying that the number here should be eight um digits and this one's only six and it also says nine and a half in there now i looked on ebay for some of these shoes the horse bit style and they there was a lot of respectable ebay sellers with a lot of hundred percent you know thousands of sales selling shoes like this that still had six numbers so i'm still a, you know i still have my doubts that these are fake but um i still just a few of the indicators here that they could be fake. I don't know. I'm not going to sell them on eBay unless I'm 100% sure they're real. So even fake, you still make some money on these. I'm just not going to sell them on eBay. I may try like Macari or something like that and just see how they do. You can't really do auctions on Macari. If they're real, you know, these are looking like they're going to be over $200 in value. Um, fake, I don't know. I didn't check prices of fake stuff. So yeah, that's that's the verdict on the shoes. 95% fake, I believe. I keep doubting myself. Like I keep thinking, well, maybe they are. Maybe they... so. A lot of the older shoes don't follow a lot of the um, authentication rules that I was reading. But yeah, I'd love to hear your opinions. Any experts out there? Um, they just like in here, just like the sole here is kind of coming loose. I would think that would be sewn, and I can't tell if they're even real leather. Like, I don't know. The heel, heel looks okay. But anyway, guys, this was a pretty good haul. Um, I was out for six hours, and I'm going to make, not counting the shoes, 400 to $450 profit after all this sells, if I get the prices I want. And um, 
I don't know how much I spent, but I mean, you, you've seen the prices on there. If these happen to be real, that's a couple hundred more dollars um, on, in sales there. But that's going to do it for the video, everybody. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like button for me. Leave a comment, be subscribed, share the video, ring that bell notification. Everything you can do to support me. I appreciate it. This has been Wick. Till next time.